Um, but yeah, after I'm done with Dungeon Siege 2, I'm definitely going to do a few other games I had in mind. I I actually bought a few games from the nice old bargain bin this week, or last week, or the week before actually. Uh, one is Pirates of the Caribbean as World's End, which I actually know already know is crap. But the version I used to have, I couldn't get the sound to work properly, so I bought it for I think five euros, I think, <laughs> which well is doable. So now I have that game, and I kind of want to play that entirely for the reason that Johnny Depp is one of the voice actors. That's the only reason I actually want to play that game. And and the story is actually quite funny, but the, as I said before, the sound doesn't really work properly, so I only have subtitles and. I didn't want to record that, so... And I'm not going to play any of the other Pirates of the Caribbean games because... I don't like them. At all. Really. <laughs> so... I mean, gameplay-wise, they are they are ridiculously easy and the AI is stupid and meh. You only have like three attacks and the games before at World's End are even worse, so... I, I'm not a big fan of the... Uh, I prefer the movies. Let's just keep it like that. Um, but I'll get around to playing that at some point. I have Garfield 2, which I think is based on the movie. Which actually also explains something about the voice actor of Garfield. Uh, it, at first it kind of bothered me, but it turns out the voice actor of Garfield only changed in the two movies. Which both I have never actually seen, but that's a different detail. Um, I think in the two movies it was Bill Murray and it was the other person since like 1980 and apparently his voice in my opinion isn't quite as good as it used to be which some people seem to agree on once they saw the uh, Garfield Lasagna World Tour playthrough like, thing I did Which obviously if you haven't seen it yet you should totally give it a look-see uh. Yeah, I'm I am sad like that, but um, uh, da -da 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 -da. the voice actor of Garfield. Well, the thing is, in my personal opinion, at first I thought it was absolutely dreadful in Lasagna World Tour, but his voice—you kind of get used to his voice, and then it sounds okay, actually. Only, but if you listen to it long enough, but um, yeah. I actually uh, had a chance to watch the animated series of Garfield, which I didn't even know existed until like two weeks ago. And <laughs> it looks almost exactly like Lasagna's World Tour, and it has the same voice actors. The only difference is that John actually makes an appearance in this. Which is okay, I personally. Well, they could have made an entire series about Garfield, and I probably would have watched it because I quite like Garfield. But. Why I subject myself to his video games, I don't know, but Lasagna World Tour actually was a pretty good game, I think. So I don't know why I just said it. But yeah. um, anyway, next to Garfield 2, I bought Act of War Direct Action, with which when I saw the title, I just have to have I just had to have it because it was so. It was. It was probably the most generic video game title I had ever seen. They could have just called it Action, the RTS game, because... But, whatever. The, the game... I have I have only played the first campaign level and, and it looked okay. Uh, next to that I've got Spellforce, I think it was called. The game is somewhere in this room. I don't, not, I don't exactly know where it is, though. It's, I cleaned my room the other day and I have no idea where anything is. So I'm, trying, I'm looking at this stack of games here. Garfield, it's okay. Spellforce 2 Shadow War, which I played for a while. I, th I think it's supposed to be an RTS game, but it, it, it's it's an RPG. They have way too many RPG elements in it for it to be for it to be just an RTS game, really. And I I didn't actually make it through the first. I think I don't actually remember if I made it through the first campaign level. It just went on and on and on and on and on. So I don't know if I actually managed to finish it or if. It's just a ridiculous long campaign, but it has the most. It has one of those generic storylines where, basically, darkness has taken over stuff, and now you have to get stuff 
back. That's basically the story. And to do this, you have you have to have every single woman woman dress up like a whore because clearly that is the most protective armor you can wear in a war zone, as seen in every single RPG game ever in existence. I what is what? Not that I mind, but <laughs> um, it it it's kind of silly that every single male person is armed to the teeth, basically. With if you even see a single bit of skin, it's because it's a gladiator, basically. But whenever there's a woman, woman, you'll you'll be surprised if it's wearing any clothes at all, basically, because. Yeah, it apparently women don't need clothing to protect themselves. They only the men do or something. Yet choosing between a man or a woman makes absolutely no difference in terms of physical strength or anything like that because as it uh, women and men are equal, they just wear less. Yeah. That's a good standpoint RPG games. Totally is. But you know, that's just my take on RPG games. And really, I've been playing for quite a while actually for the last. Well, I've been playing for a full hour now. Oh, and it's apparently 2 to 0 for. Holland and football! Huzzah! Happiness and dreams, rainbows and unicorns. We are winner and. They've been going on for 91 minutes. I. I really don't know how football works other than you kick the ball into the goal. I will openly admit that I do not watch it much. I know that they have to get the ball and the goal, and that there are really, really vague rules about when the guy has to blow his whistle, basically. And that when a person who plays football falls on the floor, he will basically always break his entire body or something, because when a normal person would fall, he would just, Oh, I fell, I guess I'll get up. When a footballer falls, he'll be on the floor for at least three hours, going, Oh, the pain in my leg is so bad, and I wish that someone would please help. Oh, the referee didn't see it. I guess I can move on now. Which is something that has bothered me, and which is also the main reason why I don't really follow it. Because uh, it 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 bothers me. I mean, why? Why do they? Why do they do that? And why do they do that every single time? I one time I actually saw this one guy fall to the floor, and he was grabbing his leg and stuff, and then he was looking around, saw no one was looking, and then he just instantly got up again and continued running again. And that 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 was the point where I went, okay, screw it, this is enough, basically, because. Well, in my opinion, they're just whiny, basically. And that would be my take on football. Now that I've pissed off every single person in existence, I'm going to continue playing this game. Yes. Oh, look, a gate. Hello. Oh, who goes there? A humble servant requesting an audience with the chief. Foolish maggot. Do you really think I would allow the likes of you to lay eyes on our chief? Yep. I would not dare insult him so. Hmm. I've not been called a maggot in a long time. Cannot say I've grown any fonder of it. Now can I please go through the gate, please? Oh my god, everyone's an enemy who saw that coming. I mean, really, who saw that one coming, right? I mean, I would have thought, huh, I asked it again. Therefore, surely he will just let me pass. That makes sense, right? Yes. It makes sense to me. Oh my god. How far am I in this quest anyway? <laughs> uh, act 2 of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay, of 9. Also, I think I'm gonna take a break at the portal though, because... I've been talking for a good 2 hours now, I think. And Oh, look. Look at that. That's, that's great. That's wonderful. You! You're the troublemaker from the town! Grah! Grah! And then I move at you. Because clearly I need to say Grah before I go, hey, I should try attacking you. And apparently if you move back a little, none of his helpers attack at all. I am the most strategic person in existence! Hooray! That's, that's ridiculous, but 
Oh well. Uh, you got the key of the district of the sword. Oh, right, this place. You have to walk around here for a while. That's fun. Boom. I said, boom. There we go. Ish. Blue boo. Oh yeah, I was playing Warcraft 3. That was really funny. I should continue with that at some point. Uh, I've recorded some Dungeons Dragons 2 again, so I might as well record some Warcraft 3 again at some point. Yeah. But yes, I have run out of things to say. I'm going to the portal and I'm going to save the game. I just activated the city of Darth. Save game. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.